Hey everyone, the name is Eric Doran. I was thinking about social anxiety and I was thinking about how social anxiety actually makes a lot of sense. It makes sense to uh, be socially anxious because in every daily social interaction we have, in every video I make, there are hundreds of mistakes. We make hundreds of mistakes every minute. We make slight mess ups, we say things we should not, we use the wrong word choice, we put things wrongly, we get off in our rhythm, our body language and our eye contact doesn't match. There are so many things we do constantly that will turn other people off us a little bit. It's sometimes it's so subtle, you know, it's a sh small shiver, it's a small positioning backwards, it's a small like shrug or scorn or some kind of frown that will tell you I did something I should not have done, I said something I shouldn't have said, or I accidentally hurt somebody's feelings or I did something wrong. So people who suffer from social anxiety, I think they have a small superpower. And that small superpower is they are amazingly socially competent. The more socially competent you are, the more you're going to want to refrain from social interactions with other people. The more you care about not making mistakes or saying something stupid, the more uncomfortable you're gonna feel in social situations. Because these situations, they require us to think on the spot, to talk on the spot, to improvise socially. And because we don't know the people we are hanging out with, what they like and what they dislike and what social norms they fall into, it can be so easy to make mistakes, so easy to accidentally offend somebody or do something stupid or embarrassing or yeah, put yourself in a bad situation. And you know, I was studying uh, the extroverted feeling types and the introverted thinking types. And you know, there's something interesting about these types. If you take an INTP, for example, Darion already ran an experiment and in most situations INTPs do not get easily nervous, they do not get easily socially anxious, they um, don't get easily embarrassed. You can try to embarrass them and uh, in the beginning they are very very resistant to embarrassment. Up to a point, up to a point, one, at one point the embarrassment becomes so big they basically fall apart mentally, they fall apart socially, there, there comes a point where that hardcore cool demeanor turns into that oh my god what did I just do? <laughs> Clumsiness, uh, uh, awkwardness, all those things, all those things. If it becomes too big for the INTP or the uh, introverted thinking type to handle, extroverted feeling basically rushes up. So constantly you can see internally the INTP is fighting off social anxiety, trying not to care about communication mess mistakes or mess ups or things like that. They're trying constantly to make sure they are perfect and impeccable in the word choices they use and in what, how they phrase themselves and in what they say. So also to some extent they believe they are socially flawless until that blind spot for social communication, that anxiety, that is extorted feeling becomes too much to handle and starts to overwhelm them and that's when the facade fades and races down and you see them for the nervous, the awkward messes that they are, just like we all are. With extroverted feeling types there is a different trend and that is, uh, of course, extroverted feeling types they are naturally communicative types, they love to communicate with other people and talk with other people, but they are constantly aware of, you know, everything stupid they say, everything they should not have said, when they are too much, when they are too little, when they are uh, disconnected from somebody, when they are connecting with somebody, when they are starting to rift from another person, they are aware of all those things and they are hyper aware of these things. So they're constantly a little bit ashamed, you know, in these situations. They're constantly a little bit socially anxious, a little bit nervous, a little bit, oh God, no, I said too much, oh no, I said too little, now I uh, used the wrong choice of words. They're constantly aware of these flaws. So they're so good at it because they're so attuned to it. They're constantly attuned to it. And then there comes a point at the end of it where they go with introverted thinking and they go, well, I've done my best, you know, <laughs> yeah. But I've done my best, I've tried at least to be fit in and to uh, be nice and to help out and still people are judging me and looking down on me or so on. So 
they have that backswing to them with introverted thinking. Uh, there is a tendency in the extroverted feeling type to try to constantly fit in and vibe with everybody. But if that's not going to work, of course, they're going to cool down and they're going to turn a little bit icy on you. And uh, they're going to be like, yeah, but I've tried. <laughs> and that's where the effort ceases. That's when they block themselves and stop themselves from becoming social pushovers. So with social anxiety, it's important to remind yourself, yeah, everybody is making constant mistakes. Every minute we're making hundreds of mistakes. Everybody messes up. Everybody does stupid things. The more you engage socially with other people, the more mistakes you're going to make socially. So the good thing is people have terrible social memory. Think about how many mistakes you could notice in another person's interactions last minute and realize you've already forgotten what happened last minute. You don't remember most of the mistakes and errors that happen. We are naturally self-correcting everybody else's behavior. We're correcting their intentions, their words, and everything they're doing. And we, re -are, we are reinterpreting and re-remembering everything that is happening. And so every minute, the last minute that just passed is forgiven. Every minute, every stupid thing you said, every hurtful word is forgiven. And this is, of course, uh, to an extent, you know, there are stupid mistakes, things you should not say that will last and will stick with people. But the small social errors that we make every minute, all the time, those things are forgotten completely over and over again. And that's the good thing about social interactions. We can make a lot of mistakes with friends and family members, but it appears almost these mistakes make us more human and more connected with other people. Because other people have made those mistakes as well. And they enjoy that as a natural part of uh, enjoying and celebrating human imperfection. So a key to becoming more socially competent and better in social situations is losing some of that social competence and that attitude has to do with social perfectionism, constantly seeking or expecting yourself to be perfect and constantly expecting that people will judge you for the stupid things you've said and done when in reality most stupid things you've said and done are already forgotten by everyone else but you. Still, of course, it can be hard to change a mental attitude. You know, attitudes, they're emotionally wired into us. We believe, we follow these frameworks like they are scriptures in the Bible. We are still religious in the sense that we follow and worship our attitudes inside of us and emotionally scold ourselves whenever we break off our script. So <laughs> that script is going to stick with you for a little bit. It's soft-wired, not hardwired. So that means it's a little stick and a little bit attached to your emotions and the past experiences and has to be constantly, slowly recalibrated. You have to prove your own script wrong, you have to test yourself and your beliefs and you have to ask other people how much they really do did judge you and how much they really did remember and if they noticed the mistakes you did because most of the time they won't have and that signals that there is something wrong with your script. Thanks everyone for watching this video and I hope it helped you get along a little bit better with others and to feel a little bit more comfortable in social interactions.